joined at this moment by a special guest hamid meer senior journalist uh, joins me hamid uh, appreciate your joining us uh, we are seeing now unprecedented scenes at the moment in pakistan across cities protests taking place after imran khan's arrest how do you see it how do you see the fallout of imran khan being arrested in the manner that he has will these protests gather momentum don't be panic because this is not the first time that a former prime minister of pakistan was arrested when imran khan was uh, in power he was the prime minister and uh, the current prime minister shahbaz sharif was uh, arrested from the premises of the lahore high court and uh, another former prime minister shahid khan abasi was also arrested by the national accountability bureau when imran khan was the prime minister at that time you see there is a difference mr asif ali zardari the former the president of pakistan he was uh, also arrested uh, by uh, the government of imran khan his uh, uh, his sister uh, senator uh, fryal talpur she was also arrested i can mention uh, uh, dozens of name but we didn't uh, see such protest but hamid we didn't uh, yeah, hamid we, we didn't see such popular protest yes but but you see at that time people did criticized the support of pakistan army which was given to imran khan but nobody uh, tried to attack uh, the houses of some serving generals so uh, now what imran khan is doing he is uh, creating more problems uh, for uh, his own party uh, first of all he mentioned the name of uh, a serving uh, army officer without any evidence and now after his arrest the supporters of pti attacked the uh, house of the core commander yes can you see me yeah i can go ahead uh, okay. will, yeah in miniature yes go ahead okay so you see uh, uh, i am sitting in islamabad the capital of uh, uh, pakistan uh, imran khan was arrested from here so i, I, I there is uh, life is normal here yes there is uh, some protest in lahore another protest in peshawar and the third protest uh, just finished in karachi so i don't think that it will uh, take much momentum because the problem is that uh, today, even the, even why... the fact even the fact that the ghq has been in a way breached that the fact that uh, you know effectively no. people are seen to storm the ghq i mean this is unprecedented it almost seems no, no, as no, if uh, imran uh, khan uh, is uh, challenging the generals i i never uh, heard that somebody tried to enter in in ghq but you see what as a from from the pakistani perspective that the, the former prime ministers belonging to pakistan muslim league and pakistan peoples party were arrested but nobody uh, challenged army in such a way so if imran khan and his party is doing that you see from pakistani perspective it's not good for them because if elections uh, 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 are announced in 2023 the elections are announced this year so tell me that uh, uh, imran khan who was uh, a darling of pakistan army he was uh, installed uh, in the prime minister office by general bajwa and general faiz in 2018 mm -hmm. and uh, most of uh, the mps from uh, the uh, muslim league and people's party were broken by the intelligence agencies and they were forced to join imran khan Uh, where will they go they will not uh, go with imran khan because they change their loyalties so imran khan is a product of uh, the intelligence agency so that's why his supporters are in a shock that their leader is arrested not by police but by rangers because rangers is controlled by the army so this is the problem and uh, uh, this is not uh, happened first time in the in the history of pakistan no, no, many prime ministers were arrested I, and uh, but i take but, up about the manner of the arrest you see already there are questions being raised by the chief justice of the uh, high court the manner in which this arrest has taken place do you believe that imran khan still is a factor in pakistan politics or do you believe the army effectively wants to hold an election in october this year without imran khan in the fray uh, i think the army will not uh, announce uh, the election uh, in pakistan it is the election commission of pakistan which is saying that uh, we but, will hold election but but will imran be allowed no, no but will imran be allowed to contest the election given what has happened given what the high court chief justice is saying today he is virtually saying that imran has been illegally arrested will imran be allowed is all of this to deny imran a chance to contest elections you see 
the chief justice of uh, islamabad high court just a few minutes ago uh, the prosecutor of uh, national accountability bureau told him in the court that we can arrest uh, an accused from anywhere in pakistan but we never arrested him from inside the court room we arrested him from our, outside the court room and i have uh, given you examples that in the past many politicians were arrested from the premises of court room but what the rangers did inside the record room of islamabad high court uh, that was uh, in a very bad taste because they broke the windows they broke the the mirrors uh, they, they 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 literally stormed the record room which is uh, i think uh, uh, it was not a good way to arrest someone so even if they had uh, uh, the uh, the arrest warrants the arrest warrants of imran khan were issued on so 9th of may so this what is very important that imran khan was asked to mm -hmm. join the investigation many times again and again he, uh, he and his wife they refused to join the investigation so that's why his arrest warrant was issued on 1st of may so uh, no, many I, politicians I, uh, who were uh, arrested mm -hmm. in the past like uh, the prime minister uh, former prime minister yusuf zaghi